Hi, this is Doug at uh, Connecting Mobile Life, coming to you from my 2018 Pleasure Way Ascent. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about the power systems in the in the Pleasure Way. Uh, the, uh, the Ascent is, uh, actually all of the Pleasure Ways now come with a uh, uh, 200 amp hour uh, lithium ion battery pack, uh, uh, solar charging, uh, as well as uh, uh, shore, shore power uh, charge. Uh, one of the things about it though is uh, it doesn't really give you a good way of uh, of measuring how much or determining how much uh, power is left in your battery pack as you're as you're camping, they uh, they provide they do provide a uh, a control panel. I'll, I'll give you a, a view of that in a, in a moment. Uh, it shows you the instantaneous power draw that you have going on in the batteries, so you can get an idea if you're running the microwave how many amps you're you're drawing from the from the battery pack, but you really have no idea about how much is left. Uh, they do use a, uh, a solar charge controller made by uh, GoPower, and it, it gives you a, a reading of percent charge, but it's it's not accurate relative to the lithium batteries that are inside the uh, the Pleasure Way. Uh, it's it's designed for lead acid or AGM batteries, uh, which, uh, uh, as a lot of people know, the uh, lead acid batteries have a linear uh, uh, discharge. On, on the power, so uh, typically what you can do is you can read the voltage of the uh, of an of an AGM battery uh, and know from uh, you get a chart off the, off the internet and shows you for a given voltage what the percent charge is on the on the power cell. Uh, lithium ion batteries have a different discharge characteristic though. It's it's uh, it's a flat it's it's a, usually a flat uh, charge rate goes down. The the voltage actually stays constant, and at some point. Uh, as it gets down to under, say, 20%, then it starts, there's a little knee in the curve, and it starts going down at a much more rapid rate than a lead-acid battery would until it discharges to zero. Uh, so the voltage isn't a, a, a really an indication of the percent charge in a lithium-ion battery. Uh, and if you if you use the Go Power system, you'll probably be above, definitely above 80%, for the majority of the time, probably for 80% of the of the capacity of the battery, and then at 80%, it'll start showing very rapidly a, a discharge uh, uh, on the uh, percent charge uh, uh, indication. So the only real way to, uh, the only accurate way to measure the uh, charge capacity of a of a lithium ion battery is to use a battery monitor. Um, so I have, uh, let me let me give you a look at, at my my install. I uh, I really didn't want to. Uh, drill any holes. This was the first uh, major upgrade I did almost immediately after I, I purchased the Ascent. So I uh, I was a bit uh, skittish about uh, actually drilling any big big holes in the in the uh, in the woodwork uh, of this of this beautiful coach. So let me let me show you what I what I ended up uh, with. Okay, so here's my uh, control center. Uh, you can see it's it's I put it put the Victron here uh, above the television. Um, yeah, it's kind of my, my instrument cluster. It's tucked in out of the way. Um, I, I don't actually use this, uh, you know, view this meter uh, you know, directly all that often. Um, it has a Bluetooth uh, link and an app on the, uh, on the cell phone that I use uh, primarily as, as a way of checking my uh, state of charge. Uh, but what I opted to do is instead of drilling into the uh, woodwork, I got one of these electronics projects boxes. Uh, and I drilled a hole in it, uh, mounted the the the, uh, the Victron uh, uh, monitor uh, meter, and uh, there's like a telephone cable that goes in. I'll, I've got some B-roll on, on the installation process that I'll I'll add uh, in, in a minute. But this uh, uh, the system, uh, I just took the wire. I put took a little more of this uh, uh, cable protector, put it on here, and zip zip tied it into the. Um, uh, existing, uh, you know, you know, wire loom here, and I took it and just kind of ran it down uh, uh, behind here. These are my uh, warm window shades, and I ran it uh, be basically, essentially behind the the sofa, and the wire comes out here, and I run it behind the sofa and into the back. Uh, so let me take it around back, and I'll show you. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll give you an idea of, of how I installed it. The first step is going to be to install this uh, 
uh, shunt in the battery compartment. The, uh, I think the best place that I can figure on putting it is up here in the top, just like this. I'll have to take this. These are the two ground wires that are going to come off. Uh, I've got this short uh, ground that will attach to this post, which is the load. So these are the batteries. So this is marked battery only and then load and charger on this side. So that's that load charger is that stub right there. So his first step we want to do is disconnect the solar so there's no charge coming in. Uh, I've already disconnected the house battery and I've unplugged the electrical so there's no charge coming in here. I need to position this back like that so this this won't fit in there but what I've got is this uh, sort of a right angle adapter that I'm going to use to set the screws in you know, from here and then I think I can set this up here I think that's the hard part. Okay, so here we have final assembly. I've got the shunt mounted with the positive uh, sensor wire, the two uh, uh, two leads from the battery going to the battery only lug, load, 
and uh, charger go to the, uh, the post that comes up and is kind of goes down over into the charger over there and where the solar comes in. Um, next what I did was I drilled a half inch hole here to feed the wire in mostly because of this uh, end of the cable. So that is just gonna plug in there now. And the other end, I left enough so for now I can pull it into the cabin and uh, work on the meter from there. So my intent is to create a little uh, box to hold the the, uh, the meter in so I don't have to drill holes in the, in the wood uh, for now. So this will just be a portable item and mostly I'll use the Bluetooth. Uh, to watch it while I'm underway. So I'm just going to go get the vacuum, clean up some of this, and then I'll button it up. Okay, so for final assembly, what I decided to do was, without drilling any holes in the wood of the, of the RV, I decided to get this little electronics project box. So what I did was I drilled a uh, two-inch hole in here. They said it was two inches, and then this... Uh, sorry, we're on a little bit of a slant here. Uh, the Victron uh, system will just plug, just drop right in here, so, all right, like that. So, and then what I'll do is either, um, either add some Velcro here and, uh, and just push it into the wall, or what I'm just going to do right now is I'll show you. Uh, I'm just going to set it down uh, between the seat and the wall for now, just to to play with it and uh, get some ideas on the on the readings. So the other thing I did was for the uh, uh, the cord that, that plugs into into this this hole here, I drilled another uh, three eighth inch hole uh, to take the cord. And what I'll do is I'll I'll make a little knot in here to strain relief it a bit. But uh, for now, we'll just uh, just finish tightening this guy in here. This is roughly about a four by three. Uh, projects box. I just, just wanted something to protect the, the meter and give me a way of attaching it to the wall with Velcro uh, if I choose to eventually. So just do that and there it is. And then the, the back will, will repair it. So let's, uh, I'll, I'll take you over, show you how I ran the wire. Let's get some of the stuff out of here. So you can see the wire here. Uh, I've just routed it up underneath. I, I Velcroed it to the uh, battery vent uh, uh, pipe that goes out to the side, so that it keeps it up away from the mechanism of the of the sofa itself. Um, so this I just ran behind he this uh, behind the cushion back over to here. So here's the here's the cord where it's going to go. Okay, so I just enlarged this hole uh, to be a half inch. Uh, this this wire wasn't fitting into the 3 8 so this one makes it fit uh, much easier. So with this, what I can do is take and uh, loop this enough room. It kind of forms a uh, a uh, just a strain relief in there. So I'm going to put this meter back in, and then this guy just loops in there like that. So that's good. So now we just go to tighten this up. Make sure that's good. Yeah. Here it is. I just kind of tuck that in here. I may attach this with Velcro somewhere on this wall.